Welcome to episode 28 of the Ginger Spice Dragonborn Project. In this episode, I'm going to be doing Monastery of the Scorpion on three skull with a couple of guildies. Let's take a look at where things are. Now, uh, did a couple quests since uh, the video. I'm recording this intro after the fact, but this is where the enhancements were. And so, you know, on the left side here, I've got, uh, you know, the hit points and the heal lamp, and I've got the dragon breath. And, you know, nothing else has changed in the spell singer tree. I think I dished a point of charisma here because I was at like an even number or an odd number. I need to take that back though because I do get a point when I go into Reaper. That'll be the next thing I pick up. Um, I don't do a lot of charming in the video, but the charming was real strong, like in uh, Enter the Cobalt, for example. And I'm still in general using a lot of charms and have been really awesome, and I'm really going to miss that uh, when I go back to Druid. <laughs> Big time. Charming is just, I'm loving it in these heroics. It's been a great tactic. Let's see where their Reaper tree is. So 18 grand from point 18. On the spell side, this is what they look like right now. So I think I talked about Odor's Irresistible Dance. Actually, I don't know that I would have had that last video, but anyways, I, I love this for to dance Reapers, you know, and I had been using, previously been using Odo's Resistible Dance, which, you know, was only hitting about 50% at a time. Well, this is Odo's Irresistible Dance, so this is going to land on Reapers every single time. Reapers, this, okay, there's a spell penetration check, but there's no save against it. So mobs that have spell resistance, like the mo like a lot of the mobs in Monastery Scorpion, which I'm about to do, you know, they can resist it. But they can't, there's no save against it. So Reapers, they don't have spell resistance, so Reapers are always going to dance. Um... And then I got Mass Charm Monster. So the two charms I'm throwing are I've got Mass Charm Monster and I've got Mass Suggestion. And, you know, I picked up an large for, I think I picked up it as my level 12 spell. I actually have it turned off here, but even though it's toggled off here, I can manually toggle it on for, like, my charms. In fact, there are very few spells I actually have this on for. So I have my two charms. Uh, I have it on for sound burst, but I don't have the damaging metas on for sound burst. I just have quicken and enlarge. I'm really, if I'm going to be using sound burst, it's just I want that stunning effect. It was really helpful in like running with the devils, for example, where the charms weren't really landing on the Eladrin, but they could stun with sound burst really easy. So I'm, you know, without the maximizing in power, it doesn't do that much damage anyway. So without the maximizing in power, I could just sit there and repeatedly spam it on the Eladrin and running with the devils, and that really helped to neutralize them because you know. The, on that quest on Reaper. I mean, even on lead at level, you know, they can be really overwhelming. All right. Uh, shamefully, I don't have the major petrifying runestone, so I'm, I forgot to get the level. So it's a level 17 version out of the bank. So I still had the the graders, but uh, I think I landed a couple of these in in the quest. Uh, I also had picked up Song of Capering. So I've never really messed around with this before, and I wanted to see if maybe this. And I still I haven't still haven't messed around with it very much, but I wanted to see if maybe this would allow me to dance mobs that I normally couldn't dance. So you know, like a scorpion or something. You know, you can dance fiendish scorpions, but not not regular scorpions. Or you know, maybe uh, oh a a stone golem or something like that. But it doesn't seem to want to let me dance things that couldn't normally be danced. So I'm guessing that sort of the benefit that this has over the spell Odo's Irresistible Dance is that I guess there would be no spell penetration check for this. So it would be like auto hit, I'm guessing. If a mob can be danced, it's, this is going to land. I'm guessing that's the shtick with this thing. But like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with it and I haven't played with it much since I picked it up. 
Yeah, I didn't mention, you know, I wrote a couple notes down. The first life of the series took me 16 days, but I was still working on Voodoo at that point. Voodoo, you know, I wanted a cat Voodoo because Voodoo's going to be my main raider. So I wasn't wholly focused on Ginger Spice. So first life took me 16 days. Second life, where I was totally focused on Ginger Spice, took me 11 days, and this is now day 8 of life 3. And I'm way, way ahead of things. I mean, so this is episode 28, and I've just posted... I think episode eight. I just posted the uh, the black and blue. So I'm gonna be done with life three before I've even finished up life one of posting life one of videos. <laughs> Crazy. You know, I've been blowing through this and I've been posting some some voodoo videos too because I wanted to post the the two cabal for ones back to back. Those are those were rough and end fights. Wow, I drank a lot of pots. And Ginger Spice says the Druid, but you know what? Got the win, even if I forgot to hit completion. Um, the other thing I want to mention too is, you know, when I talked about how I've been buying unbound supplies, like heal scrolls, instead of the bound ones from the guild vendor. Because, you know, if your buddy runs out, I want to be able to give him some. And, you know, I ran out of. We're doing. Rainbow in the Dark R5 the other day, and I ran out of heal scrolls in the middle of that, and it just it blows me away, like how fast I'm going through these. I'm buying heal scrolls literally 500 at a time, and I'm finding I'm running out like like the next day, and I'm like, damn, where are they? You know, where do they all go? I'm going broke here. <laughs> buying raise scrolls and heal scrolls. All right, uh, feats, feats, feats. So what did I pick up? So the level 15 feet, I picked up Force of Personality, which makes your Charisma modifier add to your will save instead of your Wisdom modifier. So really good will save now. And then my, my level 18 feet, which I'm going to take right after this, is going to, I'm just going to take Completionist, you know, add, add give me one to all my saves, basically, and, you know, one to all my stats, and some skill, 2 plus 2 to all my skills, and, and I'll plus one of the DCs in my spells. Okay, gear. Couple changes, mostly the same, but let's see. So, concordant opposition is the same. It's heroic green steel. Uh, this is the same legacy, greater warding armor. I'm just using this because it has spell resistance 25, where everything else is redundant or meaningless. The Breach is a win. Again, another legacy item. It's different than the version you can get today. It's a level 15 craftable that I've used in previous lives. Slotted up the green, uh, in the green slot, Sapphire Good Luck plus one, False Life 29, Insightful, Constitution 3, and Constitution 8. Another level 15 craftable. Two paths of feather falling in the green slot, Dexterity 8, Sheltering 19, Insightful Spell Sight 8. So this, uh, the dashing gloves, I stole these off of Voodoo, which I'll be using for the rest of this life, and then I'll throw them back on Voodoo. Um, got Death Block in the green slot, which is redundant, but you know, this was set up for Voodoo. Quality Perform, great for the Bard. Quality Charisma, great for the Bard. Resonance 108, great for the Bard. Sonic Lore, great for the Bard. So this is, you know, wonderful item for, you know, a, a Bard or a Fey Pact Warlock, or anybody who's doing a lot of sonic damage, but um, especially, I guess, a Bard and a Fey Pact Warlock would be the two big winners. So. It was nice that I could just pull this over from Voodoo, it's bound to account, and I'll put it back when I'm done with this life. This is something I, j I just crafted just for this life. Uh, I've got Devotion 101. Prior to this point in the series, I, I didn't have a Devotion item. Um... And for a lot of the series, I had, didn't have a perform item, but I got perform 16 on here now. Insightful spell saves plus three. That was just something I could craft cheap for that extra slot. You know, probably something like insightful PRR would have been better, but I didn't want to spend the ornate charms for something I was only going to use for a few levels, and this was relatively cheap to craft, so I just made this to use for a few levels, and then I'll probably never use that item again. My beloved green steel mineral two plus 45 hit point belt. Is a level 15 Caneth craftable. Tome has a death block, it's redundant. Um, I got three sources of death block right now, but you know, it's just because I'm hodgepodging the gear together. You know, all this gear wasn't designed for this life, but 
you know, I'm just trying to sort of make do with what I have, what I already had, and then, you know, maybe fill in some gaps by doing a little bit of crafting. But I didn't want to spend a whole lot of resources trying to make new stuff for this one life. Spell Sight 16, Insightful Charisma 3, Charisma 8. That's not supposed to be there. Um, this is what I was using, you know, mentioned it before, had it in the last video from the from the Druid Life, that's why there's Insightful Wisdom 3, Resistance 6, Spell Save 6, and oh, that was Fire Absorption was on there because we were doing uh, the End Fight and Enter the Kobold, so that's supposed to be the Silver Flame Talisman, so I've got that, you know, it's got the, the 10 charges of negative energy absorption, so that's really, that's about absorbing death spells, or negative level spells, excuse me, death block will stop me from being insta-killed, but I could still be neg-leveled, but this, you know, can absorb 10, 10 of those neg-level spells, so it's, I hate being neg-leveled, so, you know, last life of the series, I, you know, went with the hypnotic pendant, I think it was, you know, plus one of my enchantment saves, DCs, but I've just been sticking with the silver flame talisman for now, and this is the same as I used last life with the spell focus mastery plus three, so plus three to DC of all my spells, I mean, I'm just really enchantment and evocation. And for the weapons and the shield, I got Fanion, beautiful caster shield. Talked about it last life and the last video. And still got my Concordant Opposition Scimitar, which, like I said before, is really about having that extra heal lamp. It's just something I had. I did not craft that just for this life. It's just something I had and. What the hell? You know, I'm not trying to find a nice weapon to swing around at mobs. I'm not trying to uh, do melee DPS with this tune. Alright, well I guess... Oh, so I was starting to talk about it in March. So I had it off here. I have it toggled on for a couple spells. So the only thing I have it on yet is for Mass Suggestion, Charm Monster, Sound Burst, and Heals. That was the other thing. So I, I got it on for Heals. That's really important. You know, I want to be able to... You know, my friends are a little bit farther away. I love Enlarge on heal spells. So Enlarge, like I've said before, is just such a fun meta magic feat. If you can, it, you know, it it can be tough to fit it in. It can be tough to afford it. But if you can, I really enjoy it on some of my tunes. I run with it on my full time bard, and I run with it on my favorite soul, who is a healer as well, uh, like a healer tank. But those are the only two of my tunes. I can't fit it in on my druids. So I don't really feel like I want it on my druids that badly, though. Okay, let's get to the quest. Unfortunately, the Vile Blasphemy cannot be used at the same time as the Spell Song Vigor Regeneration, so I decided to get all my Vile Blasphemies, and, and that way I can save my, my songs for something different, for myself anyways. First quest of the day. It's a little slow and groggy. Which could mean I I might be a little dead in this trap hall here. He's a good dancer. I 
been running with um, Syax and Amarizi here most of this life, good portion of this life, and it's not definitely not an ideal makeup. You know, Syax is a run backwards and pew pew kind of a tune, and Amarizi is like a dodge stick fighter, so not really sort of a get the aggro kind of a tune, and so. It, so much of this life has left me like in the front getting aggro and I'm, that's, that's not working on my bard. <laughs> but you know I've got a lot of past lives and stuff so you know I'm a little bit more defensive than what would otherwise be typical I suppose. But it's, you know, being in the front line is not where I want to be. But I just haven't had much of a choice with this crew. Maybe she's fine. Whatever works. So I've done videos of this before, but they've all been solo videos. I don't think I've ever done a video in a group, and so I never showed the trap hallway on video before. There are lots of traps. I've been years since I played a trapper, and I. Don't, these all these traps are not static. Some of them are, but like this one, for example, isn't always there. The boxes aren't always in the same location, I believe. But don't quote me on that. But I definitely know that like some of the traps, like this one, not always there. Some of these quests, you know, have, where, where we've n sort of needed a tank and didn't have one, it's been, you know, Syax standing there with his bow and me healing him. You know, with my healing support, he can stand up against, you know, most anything. He's an officer in the guild, and uh, that's his main tune. He's triple everything, triple completionist, everything on that tune. And so now he's working on all his racial lives, like so many of us are. The traps in this main part of this quest are not static. They often appear in these doorways here, like right here, but not necessarily. There are some that can be out in the open, in the hallways. Thank you. have lacked this whole life is a devotion item or even a potency item so my healing healing spells haven't been amped up very much at all but I have it now Tight, need to recruit some help. So 
So this end fight is... I mean, it could be rough, even on Elite, but on Reaper, it's... You know, if you don't have jobs covered, if you don't have somebody that can do the puzzle, or somebody can tank the... or kite the boss, or deal with trash, this end fight on Reaper is... is, uh, is no joke. We'll see how we do. I mean, uh, I'm guessing we're probably going to have Syax kite the boss. I'll be charming as much as possible. With that, Marizia helping to kill trash and while I do the puzzle. some temporary help there. You can always uncharm it. Cleric. So many dis graphic bugs in this quest anymore. It didn't used to be that way. But you get at funny angles and you just get like an orange screen. I can't remember. It was years ago that started happening. They made some sort of change to it. But I can't even remember. It was so long ago. I think we're good to go now. Getting that last trap. I don't think I have... Oh yeah. I don't think I have mass suggestion yet. The song, no. Maybe next level. Maybe fresh DPS songs. Actually, we still got to do the shaft, so we might as well wait. So if I was on, like, Druid, for example, and I was soloing it, I would definitely want to use that shrine um, before I went down here. But on this tune, I got D-Door, so I can always come back up. 
a little scary doing that sometimes doing it alone because you know you could spawn reapers and if you you know if you go back on your own to use a shrine for example and you you're out of resources and you spawn a reaper it can be ugly so here he's looking for if you're new to this quest he's looking for a box which okay so this time it was right there sometimes it's over here on this pillar sometimes it's out there on the wall and uh, it can be really tricky to get because you jump out here and there's like an anti-gravity effect okay and you have to like float around there and, and get this switch over there easy job for somebody with good evasion but if you don't these tra these spikes up here are just painful and sometimes like if you bounce off like a little corner or something you can lose control and they can make it very difficult to steer yourself while you're up there Sometimes really, really bad. So now we're gonna get these levers. Was that a reaper that just spawned and fell? Or is that Amarizi falling? Now we got both these levers, and that's what's gonna open up this chest here. This is just a junk chest, so if you don't get it, no big deal. And if you don't get that trap up there, the girders will fall out and a couple of gelatinous cubes will fall on top of you. We had some rough quests yesterday. Um, we tried to do R5 Rainbow in the dark and failed. Uh, we got sucked into a trap with the fire elementals, and we didn't all go in together, and then one of them was a champion that was just dotting us up instantly, and we tried using res cakes and jibbers, and it was doing that massive acid dot, and it was just like, it was just killing us pretty much as soon as we would get up, and there was nothing we could do, um, so we just had to do it on our four, and then we had a hard time with another quest too. Let sleeping dust lie. I think we did that on R4 as well. And Lycosa just ran in and died like instantly. There was almost, there was nothing I could do. I mean, I had her targeted. And let me get some of this crap under control here. And I was buffing her, and I saw so I was watching her health, and a triple champion, you know, or a, a, you know, triple damage champion ogre dropped right on her, and just triple hit her right away, and she she was instantly at a sliver, and you know I'm trying to heal her as fast as I can, but you know, two seconds later she's dead, and the quest fails. Uh, so, you know, as much as I love the veil of Twilight quests. Uh, I'm going to probably start avoiding some of them. Like a Ritual Sacrifice, I've always hated that quest anyways, but now, you know, I, I've failed that quest so many times in this last year or so, even before Reaper, because that jerk NPC at the end just, you know, runs in and dies, or he runs backwards and aggro's on something you left downstairs, and you don't realize he's going the other way. And so he's just, so it just, you know, you can do the quest, you know, I understand that. But um, he just dies too easy, and to get that far in the quest and have him die, you know, because of something stupid is a pain in the ass. So, like, even when I do that quest on Reaper, I don't want to do it on, like, more than Reaper 1 Skull. So, you know, that quest I'm generally avoiding. We didn't do that one. We didn't do Ritual Sacrifice this life. We did the rest of them. And let Sleeping Dust lie, because of Lycosa, you know, you get one bad spawn. You know, one bad triple champ, and aggro's on her right away, and... And bam, it's over. And even even Rainbow in the Dark, you know, we sort of had a worst case scenario too. You know, somebody runs into that trap, you know, and others are are you know tied up fighting stuff, and they don't get in the trap right away. And there's a champion down there. It's just a giant mess, and it's not worth it. And like I've said before in my other videos. 
you know, we're getting so much XP that we don't have to do all content anymore, not even close. And if we're just doing a racial past life, we don't need a flag for Shroud. You know? <laughs> So we can really afford to pick and choose our quests. I love Reaper's Refuge though, as much of a pain in the ass as these can be too on Reaper. I do love them. Wow, my charm didn't bust through any of them. She's the Song of Capri. I haven't been using that much yet, I'm still playing around it. What I've been wanting to see is, can I make stuff dance that doesn't normally dance? And I don't think the answer is yes. Of spell points. I need to go use that shrine, guys. I'll be right back. There's that orange wall I was telling you about. And I'm going to click a power drain vile blasphemy. Now, what are the wagers that one of them dies while I'm not there to heal them? Place your bets now. Syax does get himself into trouble. He's a good player. But he does get a little overzealous sometimes, and Amorizi's a little squishy, so... It could be either one. Uh-oh, it's looking like it's going to be Amorizi. Is the Fear Reaper down with you guys? Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure I didn't aggro it up here at the shrine and run by it. feeling one of them would die. But I really didn't know who. That was a Carnage Reaper. You know, that's going to happen. What are you going to do? You know, Carnage Reaper's tough stuff. But if I had been here to dance it, this would never have happened. We got scorpions back here, Sax. do fresh DPS songs.
Do you need to refresh on any of your buffs, I ask? Got a couple. Letting the champion go first. That was a song capering right there. I guess one benefit, I have, I have very little experience with that, but I guess a benefit of it is, is that you wouldn't have to deal with like spell penetration. Like, oh, does Irresistible Dance has a spell pen check, which you know, have, it doesn't have a save, but it has a spell resistant spell, spell penetration check. And uh, you know, these mobs in here have pretty high spell resistance. So here's an example of a trap that is not in the doorway. Some of them can be out in the open, out in the hall like this. And that right here, this is just, this puzzle can't be completed. The floor will, floor will just drop out. There is a um, gelatinous cube that's going to bounce up and down a shaft because of an air jet. And it's just an extra chest down there. Junk chest. I'm going to do the puzzle, if you don't mind, for the video. So here we want to basically light up oops, the lights on this side to open up this blue barrier. And then we want to make sure that we have an extra yellow and red light lit to get certain air jets going so that we can reach areas with levers. And I'll show you what I mean when I when we get there. Okay, so that's gonna bring down the barrier. And now I've got a red lit already, so I'm good to go there, and I just want to get a yellow lit. And I'll show you why. So we now got a red and yellow lit. Okay, and those correspond to those yellow, those colored lights correspond to these these runes here, which shoot air jets. And so the yellow light was lit, so this air jet's on. And it shoots us over here to get this lever. Okay, and then let's see if I can jump over. There we go. I'll go over here, and we had the red light lit, so that this this air jet's active. It blows us over here. So we can get this lever, which somebody already got. So I should have done that one first, because I got to go this other way, anyways. So those are the sort of trickiest lever. Those are the tricky levers to get. The rest of them are pretty easy. So this one you just drop down, and there's that lever right there. Okay, it says two left. Now one left, and then the last lever is right over here. Oops, which we want to turn off redirect the airflow. This controls the rune up top, the light up top too. So now we can come over here and pull this last lever. Now we're good to go to the unfight. Alright, shrine up and... Are you shrine in Tyax? In nine seconds. In nine seconds. Zax, can you kite Sanyasi for us, please? And I'll do the puzzle. Amorizi, if you could help with trash. I'm going to try charming as much as possible. And uh, see how that goes. Even in the first hall, you know, we might be able to charm stuff against Sanyasi's aggro. Who knows?
we're, I mean, if nothing else, he'll kill it for us. So this this boss in Yasi is probably the probably the hardest hitting heroic boss in the game. This guy will cut you down so fast. Um, he's no joke. Like he's he's he is serious. And this end fight can get real messy. Even sometimes you know you have people know what you're doing, you know, if you're shorthanded or something or. I'm I'm a little bit worried. I mean, we're only on R three, but and pull out a summons. Maybe it'll help some distraction. Sometimes I can get the puzzle without looking at a solver, and sometimes I have to look at the solver, so we'll just, we'll see. Let's do it. Two remnants. Oh, I guess some dot. It's gone. You step on these buttons, it spawns disco balls, makes it tough to get around. Where is he? There he is. He's gotta light all the lights. Oh, we already got a dead spot somehow. You're doing too much damage to him, Syax. That is all. That was an easy one. That's the easiest one I've had in a long time. You want these runes, uh, I'm easy. Yeah. So, you, so you didn't damage Sinyasi at all? Uh, well, I guess the brute precise shot, I hit him a lot of two and Okay. So, basically, if you do too much damage to Sinyasi, I mean, it, it, this is the way I understand it. That you know, it's going to make these dead spaces, and these basically are no longer tolerable, to toggleable, <laughs> and uh, you just need to treat them like it, like they're not even there if you're using the solver. And I'm going to put a link to the solver in the, in the video description. Um, you can set up, you know, the solver. You set up the layout, and then you set up, set up the way the lights are configured. And, uh, and, and yeah, I'll I'll put up a detour. I'm just explaining some things. Go ahead and take the D door. And so, if you're using the solver, if you get a like a a dead tile, a dead light like that, you just when you're setting the layout of the of the um, of the puzzle, you just take that rate out as if it's not even there. But if that happens, you lose the extra chest, which is over here. No big deal. Dragon touch armor, largely irrelevant these days. Hopefully, someday they will. Improve it. I hope they make this pack epic someday. I just love Reaver's Refuge. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. And if you have any questions about either my Druid or Warlock builds, you can respond in my build post in the Druid and Warlock forums.